Hello everyone, welcome back to City Skylines with Mike. Mike here, and when we last left off, um, we had some trash buildup problems coming up. Hopefully we're going to fix that. Um, I'm reviewing what I'm recording immediately after I record it, and I've noticed some stutters, at least when the game was up and running. Um, I apologize if there are some stutters in the frame rate. I lower the recording bit rates, maybe that'll help a little bit. Uh, but like I said in the first episode, this is the very first game I've actually looked up the can you run it settings and instead it, it recommended something higher than what I currently had for my video card. Um, my computer is about three years old so it wouldn't surprise me. Um, something that, you know, maybe something I need to look forward to in the future, or uh, the near future. Um, but I know at least like when I'm zoomed in close, it doesn't really affect things. Maybe if I, uh, Change the render distance, shadow distance. We don't need the shadow distance. Shadows aren't that great. Sh psh, shadows. Let's apply that. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Um, but yeah. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and resume play, and we're gonna wait until we get a little bit some more money. People need some trash. Uh, take take taken away. Let's go ahead and go back over here. So what I'm going to try to do is keep things more zoomed in so that it's not so stuttery. Willow Greenway. Never thought about how much garbage piles up in just two weeks. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Well, you know, it is your face. Oh! Oh. You just got served. How much money does this cost? $10,000? Alright, we're gonna need to take out that loan right away, or else people are gonna people are gonna leave. So we got the loan. Put it right there. Taking out the trash just come much more convenient than before. Hashtag garbage, hashtag taking out the trash. Who who said that? Kathleen Peters, you're one of the most annoying people on the planet. You are what I do not like about social media. How's everybody else doing now? Got the trash taken care of. Everybody, uh, serviced in the water area. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, we should expand a little bit. Let's move the... Let's give some people some water pipes. And, uh, get prepared for some expansion. What is this? Maybe it's gonna be more... Nope. That's not efficient. There. Then there. All right. Cool. Uh, and let's put another road back up over here because I know people are gonna want the industry eventually. Let's move that right there. There we go. Residential demand is going to go up as expected. Right there. There. Can we squeeze? How much can we squeeze? We can squeeze. Right there. How far back can we? Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. We should not be scared to bring it back. Uh, what we do need eventually is like a park or something, but we don't have that yet. Uh, healthcare, we need a small clinic. How much does that cost? 10,000 bucks. We just wasted all that on the roads, so I'm sorry. Uh, actually, we can bulldoze one of these roads. What do we don't need this far one just yet. Uh, that did not save us that much money. Never mind. You can wait on your healthcare. None of you are immediately sick, are you? No? Let's go ahead and zone this out for some residential. We should be growing very, very quickly, very soon. Look at that up. Look at that. We're at 782 bucks per week is our income and climbing. Things are going well over here. What's your problem? Not enough workers. Not enough workers. Uh, we are building 
workers, as you can see. This is a very this is a terrible turn. I gotta fix that. Um, what can I do with that? Uh, da, da, da. Can I? No. And then bulldoze this little bit right here. There we go. That's much better. Holy cow. Alright. There we go. We've increased traffic to the industry zone. Oh, is that a little motorcycle guy? No, it's a little Vespa. Look at you. What's your name? Scooter. <laughs> Going to Box Factory. Owner, Mary Davies. Very cool. I like that. You're going over the box factory. Where's a box factory? Is this it? Look at you. It's a dog. A dog was riding that scooter? Are you serious? Dog. Scooter. I just renamed your dog, buddy. What are you going to do about that? <laughs> uh, who are you, Mary Davies? You liar. You weren't going to work at the box factory. You were going to go take your dog out on a nice scooter ride, then you're going to go and abandon your job. Let's follow you around. Let's see what you were actually going to do with your day. The industry district is that way. You're going to work at the box factory. Uh huh. Okay. 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 Oh, the, the, the hot dog. Jeez. There are box factory. Look at that. She was not lying. She's telling the truth. Very cool. Um, more workers. You better. You should be getting some more workers. Seven jobs available. Oh. We need some education here. Oh wow! Look at all that. Is how much is a school? Ten thousand bucks. I think we should put in a school before we put in a medical service. Because otherwise, we're gonna have poor medical service because people aren't gonna be smart enough to perform medical procedures. But that's just my thoughts. Let's speed this up a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Things are actually going really well. I'm surprised. I, don't, I mean, I, I'm happy. I'm pleased that things are going well. We got a nice little commercial district. Uh, like I said, when, at least what I notice is in cities is when you come in, the commercial district is right there. It's, just, it's the shops that draw you in. Um, I was trying to think of how I wanted to set up the city, like I had it in my mind, and then the only- I was trying to think of, like, my city in Columbus and how things are set up, but Columbus is more in the center, and the suburbs are all around it, and it's in- and Columbus is sort of, like, encased in a, in, a, in a highway, and so it wasn't really that good of a, an analog because Columbus doesn't really have many industry. Uh, Winston Roberts. Municipal health care is a standard in any other city of this size except ours. Wonder where you're going to get one. Hashtag 21st century. Hashtag health care. It could all have been one hashtag, buddy. Stupid. You'll get one um, very shortly once this hits 10,000. But uh, as I was saying, so I was trying to think of an analog of a. Uh, I don't know, I guess. How do, how, how do I build the city? How do I, what's the layout of the land? Zoom out shortly so the frame rate doesn't drop. And I was trying to think of Cleveland. Because Cleveland, when you go to Cleveland, oh yeah! Or the village. New areas. Sweet. We can now do districts, policies, second loan, industry specialization, service policies. Uh, districts is a very cool feature where you can sort of, um, sort of like zoning, you can paint an area of the city and name it a district. And within that district, you can have certain policies such as. Uh, no dogs, or they get trash service only, or you can take away their trash service or water service. You can have them uh, do recreational drug use, which is interesting. 
you can basically create whatever kind of district whatever kind of neighborhood you want which is very cool um, unique buildings I really like this game and how this is set up this is very cool it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something um, power usage water usage smoke detector distribution uh, okay very cool let's pause it oh Olivia Lee the mayor has worked tirelessly and now the original government has passed a new bill that allows for larger city territory hashtag annex uh, let me show that to you real quick. I'm going to click this areas map at the bottom left, button at the bottom left, and these new four areas have opened up for us to purchase. So we got a plains area, a nice little beachy area with uh, looks like a little river, and a small part of an island. We've got all island, and we've got a uh, little no, land with a river. I think if we do anything, we, we're going to purchase this, this next big part up here. Uh, but it's still too early for that. So let's go back. Oops, no, let's go back to our, our livable area. We got 30000 bucks. So right away, let's go ahead and put in a small clinic. Um, let's be connected to a roadside. You are connected to a roadside right here, aren't you? No. Put the clinic right there. All the happy faces. And let's build a school. Um... Build a school right here, right, right. We're gonna we're gonna destroy that person's house. They don't care. There we go. Um, and we're gonna need a fire department eventually. So might as well. Don't have enough money. That's okay. Let's see what happens. Mayor supports hashtag education. Citizens approve of this. Hashtag no more homeschooling. Great. I'm glad I could be of service. So going back to what I was saying, um, I noticed in some videos I, I sort of start to say something and then I lose thought, so I'm getting better at that. Going back to what I'm saying about Cleveland is I notice when I drive into the city sometimes, at least when I'm there, you can definitely tell it's an industry city. Um, no offense to Cleveland or anybody who's from Cleveland, but you can just, you can definitely tell right away it's like in industry city. Like, oh, yeah, this, this looks like an industry city. And, uh... Yep. I had a, I don't know, the only time I've gone, I've gone to Cleveland is for concerts. Um, I saw Muse a few years ago at Policies. These are the policies I was talking about. You can uh, set an area, paint an area as a district and determine what kind of uh, services they get. Uh, recreational use. <laughs> Down there. Oops. No. Oh. Oi. 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 And, um, so I parked, yeah, I went and saw Muse there at the Quicken Loans Arena um, a few years ago. And I parked in a parking garage that was a little bit sketchy, and I wasn't sure if my car was going to be there when I came back. Luckily, when I came back out of the concert, like around 11.15 or so, uh, I went and I couldn't find my car in the garage, but I eventually found it. But when I was climbing up the stairs and different flights, I opened up the door, and at one exit was this gentleman very old man and he was just like hey and I was just like hey and he's like have a good night I'm like thank you you too and since then I have not been back to Cleveland I have not been back there and that's my story of Cleveland uh, I wish medium demand I wish they would tell me what they would like because otherwise we're not giving them anything we sort of we sort of plateaued early. I wish they would tell me. Okay, they want a little bit more commercial. That's popping up very fast. Let's give them that little bit right there. Um, let's expand this road out. Can I? There we go. No. What are you so mad about? Oh, there's, that's a that's a wrong road. You jerks. Right there. And then, ooh, can, do I have parks unlocked? I did not. I did not have parks unlocked yet. But I believe next population thing I get parks. So we'll put a park right there. That should make people happy. Uh, let's put a few more shops up over here. More right there. More right there, right there. 
optic camouflage available for consumers. Hashtag cloak of invisibility. I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. Check out our uh, industry area. How's everybody doing? Ready to wear limited. Operating normally. Very good. Power plant is operating optimally. Very, very good. Uh, do we have a police station set up? No, we do not. Um, is it important to have one? Something's gone up over there. I don't want to raise that building. Uh, oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. No, no. No, no, yeah. E, e. Do we have a f uh, fi 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 fire department? I don't have a fire department. Crap. Let's put one down. All right, let's let's go go put out the fire, buddy. City receives its first fire engine. Citizens already feel safer than before. Hashtag fireproof. And there you go. Let's follow you to your job. To go into the evergreen residence. Uh, evergreen is a type of tree, and I'm sure that type of tree can catch on fire. So good good job on that. Uh, people lining up and watching this. Who are you, William Graham, an uneducated child? Go to go to school. Stop looking at the freaking fire. Are you jumping up and down out of excitement? You stupid. He's going to the Evergreen residence for no reason. Why are you going there? Oh, there's one child there. And now it's abandoned. The crime rate is high. Crime rate is high. Police? Well, that's something that's gonna have to wait. The crime rate is high because your building caught on fire. Arson. How are we doing? I I I got a feeling we're we're doing pretty good so far. What's what's your problem? Garbage is piled up. Why is the garbage piled up? Excuse me. Let's bump up the uh, garbage budget to 110 uh, percent. Water. Let's bump that up back to normal. Garbage. Bump it up to 115 percent. We're up to 2,200 bucks a week as our weekly income. Very, very awesome. And we're near. We're nearing 1,500 residents, which is going to be our next population milestone. And you have no water. Why don't you have any water? Oh, you're you're one of those. You're one of the exceptions. Okay, let's give you your water. There you go. Where is our? Uh, let's check in on our very first house. Who were they? The very first residents. Are they? Are they still here? The Crescent residents. They have eight teens now. One child and six adults. That's fifteen people living in one house. How do they keep getting people? Who keeps giving them people? Look, there's one of them now. Let's, let's pause the game. Let's follow this guy. Who are you? Thomas Young resides at the Crescent Residence. I don't... I got a bad feeling about you, buddy. X, X, there we go. Unique buildings. Unique buildings are gained by achieving various things while playing, both positive and negative. Unique buildings attract tourists into the city. Uh, cool. There can only be one of each unique building built in the same time in your city. Unique buildings carry over to new game sessions, so after unlocking them, they will be available to you in future cities every time you reach the relevant milestone. Very, very cool. How are we doing? Where are all the hashtag garbage trucks? Why is no one picking up our trash? Um, I increased the budget for the garbage. What are you guys doing? Garbage trucks in use? Well, use more. Please use more. Garbage trucks. Uh, let's expend the budget. Extend the budget. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, we're now a tiny town. 
We can have decoration, such as parks and plazas, unique buildings. We can also ban pets, ban smoking, and uh, have park and rec. And also have a high school. Sweet. Uh, bump it up to 125. Well, alright. I say we're doing a pretty dang good job. A building has leveled up. Uh, if you provide good services and education and have a high land value, the zone buildings in your city can be improved to higher level buildings. Higher level buildings pay more taxes and, and house more people and offer more jobs. Pollution is reduced in the higher level industry. Wow. Look at this. Look at... Oh, no, no, you, you. Screenshot that. That is awesome. I also like how uh, the building is sort of a paradox style with the uh, in Tropico. Sort of the same style of building, the scaffolding. Alright. Uh, this is great. This is really great. We're doing a pretty good job. I'm very happy so far. Uh, there's a green arrow for some reason. Okay. Um, look at you. You got a little, you got a little sun thing there. The lilac residence. What do we need? Uh, let's get these people a park real quick. We're gonna put a park right there. Um, all these parks are huge. Roadside. Roadside. That is not roadside. See if I can give him a park. It's a small park. I don't want to destroy. I don't want to destroy these people's houses. It's making me though. Can I rotate the park. Nope. Paved path. Gravel path. Uh. You know, this is going to be really janky, but let me see if I can... Let me see if I can, like, stretch this out like that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Nice. You know, I got the feeling that we're doing everything right here. And that makes me happy. And I think I'm going to call it there. Uh, this is the episode. Snow Peak, uh, come along very, very nicely. I'm very happy with it. Um, we're good money. We are growing. Um, I'm not getting any readings in terms of what people want and that music. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk. Please, please. Shh. There you go. The game just gets so excited when I talk, I guess. So, um, yes, we're doing very well. Cedric Cooper, I love new parks, thanks to at Mayor. I can take my family to the park and have a nice picnic. Hashtag Parks and Rec. Good, good job. You're going to confuse some uh, Parks and Rec fans. We're talking about that, though. Uh, they're going to be like, what are you talking about? That's It's a TV show. Or it was a TV show. Alright, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you are enjoying this series, let me know. Uh, I'm having fun. This is the first time I've actually done a sort of a playthrough of something you know building a city it's the sort of style game um, I did banished uh, for only one episode I apologize for that but uh, I'm very enthusiastic about this game I'm very excited about it and um, I hope you guys are enjoying so and then the audio cut out a oh, little well. but this is what I want to end with thank you guys for watching check out this tree it's gonna grow watch 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 where'd that tree come from